Today I am going to show you a quick trick on how to take all of your preferences and custom settings within Clip Studio Paint and transfer them into another instance of Clip Studio Paint. We're going to do that in a sec. Okay, the first thing we're going to need to do is find out where the location of your materials are. Now, Clip Studio Paint itself doesn't have that location built into its, you know, settings or preferences anywhere, which is silly, but we need to actually open Clip Studio, the sort of all-in-one app where everything is. You're going to click this gear and you're going to have this location of materials and this is where it's going to be. That should be the same Mac or PC. I mean, the path will be different, but the way you find out that location should be the same. So now that we know where it is, I've already opened this up in Windows Explorer. And what I've done is I've renamed the folder with all my customization to .new. And I have this original folder, which when I launch Clip Studio Paint should be like as if I just opened the app before. So we're going to do that now. Right, so this should be familiar. It thinks I'm just opening up the app for the first time. So here it is. This is the way Clip Studio comes out of the box. Everybody's familiar with that, except I don't feel like doing my preferences again. I sure don't feel like setting up all my custom shortcut keys for my um, Wacom Express remote, which I have the pop out here to show how I configure that for Photoshop, but largely the same. And I'm so lazy, I don't even feel like importing my workspace. That's a pain in the neck because unless I save it as a material and then bring it back down and then import it in, it's just all too much work for me and I'm lazy. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close uh, Clip Studio Paint I'm going to rename this dot old rename this guy. Now watch what happens. Everything that I showed you uh, in the last video about how we did brushes, including my, um, my workspace, and my shortcuts and every little customization that I made is now retained. So meaning that with my particular license, which is the digital version, um, I'm licensed for two devices. So I have it on my laptop and I have it on my PC. I can now copy and paste that folder, stick it on a thumb drive, you know, or stick it on Dropbox or something, bring it down and have the same configuration across two devices. Now see, that was easy. What's not so easy is this YouTube algorithm. So if you could do me a favor, hit a like if you like this video, put some comments in the comments below, and hopefully you guys are enjoying these Clip Studio Paint videos. And if you like them, let me know, and I'll keep doing them. And I'll check you guys out in the next one.